All right, gang. We're, all right, gang. We're going to look at how to create a contact sheet in uh, using Adobe Bridge and Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this is especially useful, I think, if we're trying to print off multiple photographs, but we don't want to print them on a full sheet of paper. So uh, that's what we'll look at here. Uh, to do these steps, first off, you got to choose the photographs that you want to print. Uh, in many cases, I think printing two is really nice because that makes like a five by seven image, basically. So I'm going to print, uh, let's say, just one of each of my kids. So to select photographs that aren't in a line together, I hold the command key. I'll click this picture to print and that one here. So with the two pictures selected that I want to print, they're highlighted here. I'm going to go up to Tools and Photoshop. And then I will go to this Contact Sheet 2. Again, that's Tools. Photoshop contact sheet 2 and what that's going to do is it's going to automatically send those photographs over to Photoshop you might notice Photoshop opening uh, on my computer and opening on yours and so this contact sheet creator is what Photoshop's uh, designated as that so you can see or you should see that for the source it's going to be using bridge and the two files that I've already selected so that's good uh, these you might have to change the first time through, but after you do that, you won't have to change it anymore. The units is going to be in inches. The paper in our printer is 8 wide by 10 tall. We're going to have you change the resolution down to 100. Usually you'd keep that at 300 if you're doing like professional photo prints, 300 or more. Um, but we'll use 100 because we're printing over the network. It will go a little bit faster. Okay. I go ahead and have that flatten all layers on and the rest of this stuff you shouldn't have to change. Down under thumbnails, the thumbnails are how many pictures it's going to print on a thing and how it's going to place them. Uh, you can have it set to across first there, it doesn't really matter. We want it to be set as one column, which means that there won't be any divisions vertically and there'll be two rows for our two photographs. So lastly you're going to say rotate for best fit, you want that to be turned on. That way it will turn your tall photographs sideways, which since we're printing them out uh, and cutting them out, we will turn it not sideways when we uh, hang it up on the board. So if your settings look like that, where it's using Adobe Bridge, two files, eight by 10 with a 100 for the document size, place them across first, one column, two rows. If I say okay, Photoshop and Bridge will do their little magic talking to each other and it should spit out a context sheet just like this. You can see it rotated those two images, it placed them in one column in two separate rows, and now I've got a great little um, document to print. I would go ahead and save this, which is Command S. I'll just put it on my drive here and I'll call it Sample Contact Sheet. And I will just save that right there. Just that way it's backed up in case something goes weird with the printing. But as soon as it's pr uh, saved, I will then push Command P for print, file print, and I'm going to use the color printer which ends in 4650 and I'll just print one copy and if I was to say print, it may give me a couple other options but I would just basically this one be saying print and okay and okay and okay. Alright, enjoy getting it.